Hello guys and welcome to Supreme Ruler 2030 with our Germany campaign. We're on the final campaign objective already, we have been for like half the series, and that is to take down Russia. I just realized I'm running two different series at the same time where I'm playing as Germany and invading Russia. That's great. Anyway, I will be getting troops deployed and shifting getting ready to go do that. As you may already know, Poland is currently fighting over Russia. They're actually making pretty amazing headway here if we look at it. They're getting pretty close to Moscow. It's in danger. Ukraine's been mostly holding. It's been very back and forth over here, even with all the allied units that came to help. What the fuck? Southern Ukraine? <laughs> Wait, where's the Donbass? Oh, it's still up here. What the hell is Southern Ukraine as a country? Is that a loyalty? It probably is. And let me guess, partisans? Yeah, partisans. Russia's out of money. But yes, like I was saying, we're going to be going after Russia ourselves now, not just relying on all of our allies doing it. I'm pretty much ready for it, so let me tell you the game plan. We're going to deploy. We're going to go through Poland, probably towards Minsk. We're going to then deviate and go up through the Baltics into Estonia, who's not currently involved in the war. We are then going to head into Russia. We're going to have to break through some garrisoned out positions. And the idea is to take St. Petersburg because St. Petersburg has next to it some production for one. That's not why we're going here. We're going here because this is the only barracks I could find in this region. Somewhere that I can take myself coming in the way I'm about to come in and then allow me to push further down the road, meet these big Russian lines. What is this? All artillery? Mostly, yeah. Wow, that's funny. And then depending on how Poland does, if they advance further, we'll go from there. If they get pushed back a little or change towards Moscow, then we'll head down this road ourselves and then try to reach Moscow. That's kind of the idea. I don't know if we have the troops yet to do it, but right now we have money, they don't. We have 21 currently land capacity production. I don't remember, but I think that I'm building more. Yes, I am. Four more. I'm going to take more from them. They're down to... They, oh, there are 21 too. It's actually equal if it's just us and them. What is all of this? Oh, it's just all Romanian. The French are still over here being weird. The AI has been updated and a lot of things have been updated since I last recorded this game, which is literally like two days ago. So I don't know all the changes yet. Before I get into moving all those troops though, I would like to point out that... A lot of our oil is finishing and we now are a oil exporter by a pretty good margin. Selling conditions are static so maybe we didn't need to do it that much but now we know we'll pretty much be self-sufficient probably for the rest of this playthrough. Another thing I've noticed is coal. In SRU coal didn't sell because nobody used coal. Since they've rebalanced all the power generation looks like coal production and usage is actually really balanced in the world and it's not, by the amount, going to be as profitable as oil. Even if the market values are higher, the amount is much lower. But you could actually probably be a coal exporter in this game, in this era. I find that quite interesting. Oh my god, they finally fixed it! There's events, there's pop-ups now, when war's declared. This has been broken since the beta. And everyone just told me to check my settings. I hated that. But it's back! Inner Mongolia declared war on Russia. Who? Where? That's that's like here, right? What the fuck? Where can I zoom to event? That used to be a thing. But a lot of uh yeah, a lot of helpful buttons like that are missing in this game, unfortunately. They added so many useful things, but some of like the really simple things I relied on, like go to this event's location, that's gone. Um, how do I get, I want to see Inner Mongolia. Region is dead. Okay, so it's like a pop-up then. I found it, it doesn't have any territory, but it's because of partisans. I support that shit. Always support anything that hurts Russia. Thank you very much. I made a limited battle group of about 50 different units. An array of artillery, of AT, that's mobile, recon, infantry, and a lot of tanks, because I really have mostly leopards, to be honest. I don't really have any mobile AA, 
So I'm not sending AA. What I'm going to do instead is just have probably a bunch of multi-role fighters ready to go. And I'm just going to fly them up to be both an attack force and an interceptor force. Because we only have two interceptors. In modern day, it's very multi-role oriented. Not only in game, but in real life. All right, well, here's something I never thought I'd see. American AI in Europe? It's just a strato tank or it's just a supply plane, but the Americans have sent stuff to support Poland by the looks of it. Meaning America must have some sort of mutual defense pact with Poland at this point. But what does that mean? Are they going to send? Oh, you can kind of like see the trail, I think, that the planes went. Are they going to send their own... Tr what the hell's happening here? Oh, it's just building. Their own troops, or is it just some planes here and there? Holy fuck, look at how many Russians are at Smolensk. They've really stocked up there. There's also some more piling up over here. Wow, they really want to fight the Polish out of this spot, or just really, really defend it. It's a very interesting way the AI prioritizes these big battles. Also, the Russians have a bajillion different artillery staring at this new Georgia Republic partisans. But I don't think they have anything here to actually take it over. <laughs> so they're just chilling. The Polish are starting to ignore Smolensk and the Russians are just sitting there. Is this like all arty? You know, they're really just down to a fuck ton of arty. A lot of the Russian offensive army, I think, has been killed. I think it's a lot of defensive troops at this point, especially. The Poles are pushing on Peskov now. There's some Ukrainians helping, by the way, I noticed, meaning the AI is being really proactive with their treaty making. As you can see, we arrived in Tallinn, so we're pretty much ready for our attack. I'm just kind of watching the situation around before I commit. Yeah, everything Russia has around here and almost everywhere I look is either a garrison or a defensive unit. Their offensive forces are stretched thin. That gives me a good bit of intel for this upcoming attack I'm about to do. All right, I'm ready to see what we can do with just a big, sudden push. Gotta be careful about those planes. Basically just gonna push in. Might go for this airfield first, this military complex for a little bit of a supply source. I don't know. This produces enough supplies by itself. Yeah, we'll just focus on going down the road. I'll update you as we go and we'll get some air support in there ideally. I don't think I'm going to bring missiles because all my missiles are structure attack and I don't want to destroy any structures. All right, we are pushing into Russian territory officially through Estonian territory. This is now our territory. And here we have our first engagement with the garrisons. I expect with a new incursion, Russia will respond. So I'm going to get my air force over here. Just the about like 13 multi-role fighters. I think we should have a good thing going on. You know, actually, more accurately, I need to get those aircraft kind of more, like, pre-positioned. So, this is just going to be more of... Oh my god, wait, what? We captured it already? We just got here. It's covered in Russian garrisons. What is this? I don't know, but the land push is going fine with minimal losses at the moment. The enemies are dying. Yep, yep. With basically nobody doing anything about it. And all I'm really doing here is zerging so far. There's little strategy going into this, and it's working out pretty well. Next, I'm going for these nuclear power plants. A wondrous place to fight over, by the way. My fighters are now, I believe, all in Estonia. Yeah, this one needs another base, though. Let's give that another base so that they can respond to any air threats, like this one right here, for whenever we need it. We have very little supply over here right now because we've only taken one town. Trying to fix that by taking another one. The power generators on it won't really matter actually we're probably going to be running into some ammo issues just due to the supply okay here's what i wanted the estonians are now coming to help me this is exactly what i wanted and if i can get a border with finland the Finns will come to help me yeah the ai is so proactive in this game this is exactly what i'm trying to cause here as well in addition to also just securing a place to base out of okay let me um let me finish this off with some fighter bombing because Supply is very stretched in here. Damn, I narrowed it down to 50. I thought that would be like, quote unquote, enough. You know, like that wouldn't be too much. Oh man, they got some AA over there. Yeah, yeah. But the multi-role fighters are doing their job pretty well. I wish they would just circle over the one hex instead of just circling just everywhere. Dude, you just go back for right now. Looked like I had selected something else. That was weird. 
I don't know, but they did their job. They helped me destroy this. We've now captured another city. I'm gonna spread this stuff out. Is that all my arty? Holy shit, it can fire far. Spread out my troops a little bit. Ah, the Estonians are going for this. I mean, that would be good. That would provide me some supply, all right. Our supply here is already spreading around where we've taken the first town. I wonder if Estonian supply is spreading into... Oh, Estonian supply is spreading in here. That's amazing. What is that? I saw projectiles flying. Are there artillery attacking me? Their artillery is attacking me. Now, I want to be careful here, probably, because I did see some anti-air fire. Oh, and even more than anti-air fire, the Poles have pushed up because they retreated all this artillery, potentially sensing problems at St. Petersburg. So I'm not sure, 100%, how we're going to continue this. Well, I don't want to take any undue damage, so what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to get a lot of the troops just moving back towards Estonia to resupply. I'm going to send some defensive, still armed units over here, and then set up defensive locations for the time being. We got some Russian plane coming in here to try to fuck with me, but my multi-role fighters are here. Oh my god, it's almost dead. Wait. Right, can I redirect you guys in its direction? Oh, it either got away or it died completely. I'll call that a mission accomplished. Go home, please. Go home before you die. Because <laughs> that took you pretty deep into Russian territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go home now. All right, yeah, we got some good resupplying here. What's the resupply look like? I'm micromanaging a lot because I can and because this is so hyper-specific and I'm not actually that built up yet. Oh, this is cute. The Estonians actually showed up with supply transport. <laughs> Dude, I gotta say, the AI, in terms of land combat and everything, really, really improved since last time. The Estonians are kind of holding over here for me at the moment. I'm pulling up garrisons. They're already kind of coming up a little bit. I just pulled everything to resupply because I noticed um, the Russians can't push. I just remembered that. All they can do is launch artillery. So rather than sit around and get launched at like the Estonians are doing by air and artillery, I figure I'll let the Estonians handle that while I pull up garrisons that can't be targeted in such a manner and I just get full resupply on this battle group which is doing well I sent the injured fighters home and I'm going to have them repair also ceasefire signed Hong Kong and India wow I love getting those alerts now Estonia is now out of money but I have inadvertently like brought them into this war I'm just gonna send them like a bill as a thank you for helping me <laughs> here you go I request nothing just take this. Dude, if I just sent like one unit, right, <laughs> into Finland and I just put them right here, I wonder if the Finns would just come like charging in. My inflation has basically stopped going up at about 3.2%. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to place some more hydro power plants because I think that would be worthwhile. Oh, it's so picky about where it lets you build them. It really, really is. Interesting how there's a nuclear one right here on this spot. Oh my God. The tile strength actually matters for Hydro now. It never mattered in SRU. You could just build as many there as you want, so long as there was a little bit there. I prefer this. This is kind of better. Oh, this is funny. Ukraine has carved out a little chunk of territory over here. <laughs> and the Italians are here too now. I just find it so funny how I'm getting other countries to fight for me. The one offensive Russian unit in this whole region of BMP2 with some experience has come down this road. The Estonians are desperately fighting with a light infantry. <laughs> I think I'll go ahead and I'm going to make a point to capture this. Just a big barrage, basically. Just everybody go. Everybody attack. Is that a move to order? Yeah, no, just more like attack unit order. Because the artillery can just fire from there, as you can already see. The... What are they? Estonians have done a great job weakening this for me already. So I figure I'll just go finish it off. Get some more supply in the region. Supply in the region, by the way, doing very well in comparison now. Maybe not on the, like, the fringe, but there's actual supply here and a fight can be sustained. I'm still going to hug the Ukrainian side for as long as I need to. Not too worried about holding a front again because it's just all artillery. I don't have a massive air force like I usually do in SRU to be able to just curb stomp all this artillery. That doesn't exist for me right now it's not in my grasp and time's moving so slowly it hasn't even been one year in the game yet i have mostly starter stuff this one tank t90a has moved up and attacked one of the garrisons i got up we're still raising the other garrisons so i'm gonna send in the boys 
Woo, look at that. Caused some fucking chaos. Get all their shots off. Which are doing a pretty good job of. I went ahead and actually gave them a more specific bomb order of this tank. I'm also trying to keep an eye on their health while this happens. Oh my god, like wherever the f Oh my god. Okay, I don't know if you're making it out of there alive, buddy. <laughs> trying to avoid um, getting them blown up. Because there's just so many defensive units over here. Run! Run! Okay, did you get away? Okay, they got away. They're all getting away. I thought I was going to lose my first unit. I was going to be like, what the fuck? Because I'm, I'm up to, last I checked, I had 20 kills, no deaths? Yeah. Some dead men, but that's to be expected. Manpower can be replaced, especially in my country, where we have, let's see, way more immigration than emigration. Probably thanks to people emigrating from Russia. Yep. And just, you know, my budgetary policies in general. More deaths than births, which I find interesting, considering how much I'm spending on... Things like healthcare and my rating for it. I don't know why deaths are so high. I have lost a little bit more men because they keep trying to garrison or artillery my garrison over here by these nuclear power plants, but that's not really a big deal. For now, I'm letting the Estonians handle this because this fuck fest of Artie that's moved back wasn't exactly something I accounted for. Oh my god, so much of it is now stuck in between territories. This is actually working out so well. We're making so much progress in this area between us and our allies. It's just getting through into St. Petersburg will be hard because as you can see, they're just pouring more and more already into it. Like I said, a heavy response. They're responding very heavily to this with all of these defensive units. And they have enough ammo, as you can see, to keep this already shooting. It's why I occasionally am losing some men. And it's why the Estonians are having a rather hard time doing what they're doing. Hilariously though, the Estonians are actually making progress towards St. Petersburg for me. They're actually pushing. And I sent one of my strikers up here. And we're just gonna step here, because I'm just curious. Can I mobilize Finland by just doing this? I might mobilize a bunch of Russians over here, potentially. I don't know, but I believe we'll have some supply sprinkling in from Finland and we might get some units sprinkling in, maybe. I'm not sure about that part. I got to keep an eye on that. Supply is in fact sprinkling in from Finland, so I could push it a little bit further too to try to really convince Finland to mobilize. Maybe even get into a little teeny tiny shootout with a garrison and then just like run away. Here. Just exchange like a little bit of fire. There you go. It's like a little bit of shooting. And even now, now look, the Finnish ships are fighting. Oh god, you boarded a train. Um, that's probably not the smartest thing to do in that situation, but it's fine. It was worth it if this works. If this doesn't work, it wasn't worth it. Nation liberated leadership. Of, oh, I see. Donbass. Return from exile. They're free. America wants to sell me indie goods. I'm buying a lot of indie goods because I'm using a lot. Oh, hey, but look at that. My usage has gone down like crazy. That or I've just built up so much capacity. Well, I could build way more power if I wanted to. Just really, at this point, depends on the status of my economy. I have to manage both of these things at once right now. 3.4% inflation. I am getting to the point where I want to watch it. As a reminder, I guess, for anyone that hasn't watched all my SRU series, inflation in this game is not exactly the same as it is IRL. Oh my god, all of this production stuff is finished. That's really, really nice. We make so many finished goods and the only thing we're currently short on is, well, electricity. One way or another, I think I should be fine to place down... Oh my god, this one was five. Another five hydro plants should be good. Just slowly, like, easing it in there for the time being. Oh my god, this Russian ship came out. It's battleship. What? Which battleship is this? A Kirov. Just shot some missiles over here at the Finnish ship, sending it fleeing for its life, and it's trying to bombard my garrisons. A fruitless endeavor. The manpower losses won't matter very much to me in the long run. This one BMP is like singularly more dangerous to me than this ship is, or anything else in this region. Unfortunately, the Finns aren't really mobilizing, which I don't like. Another thing, because I'm just trying to, I'm trying to do this wisely, due to the fact that I have such a lack of equipment. 
So you know something that might help? Because of how I noticed that the AI is pretty big on sailing to my territory, what if I made it possible for the AI to sail over here? For example, if I built a... I can't do it through this menu. 25 days to build a sea pier. It's not that bad. What if I built one just like right here where it's kind of safe from this area? Well, okay, with supply, it'll take more than 25 days as we can see, but that's fine. I figure if these build here, maybe nations will see that and then come over here to assist me. Ooh, ooh, okay. Lots and lots of poles moving north all of a sudden against all these Russian troops that are nearly out of supply, only shooting artillery essentially at a mixture of Polish and Ukrainian troops. This could end really badly for the Russians. Even the Estonians are pushing down in that direction. All the AI have kind of figured out that all this arty here is very vulnerable and they're all going for it at once. This could be a chance to go for St. Petersburg, but I also don't want to mess with this until they're more in position to deal a lot of damage. Actually, fuck it. This is a perfect opportunity. Let's go and make some kind of a push, try to take another town, because what we have so far is fully secure. I'm just going to give a general move order until I see the thing that I want to shoot at. Then I'll give a more particular order. Oh my god, is this all my artillery fire? <laughs> oh, it is. Just shooting at the Kirov. I'm fine with that. I'm going to send the unit I sent to Finland back because uh, the Finns aren't taking the bait. They're not taking the bait. Oh, we're still meeting a bunch of artillery fighter right here. Oh, but it was my RD that met the fire. That's fine. They'll fire back, no problem. Everybody else, I want just kind of pushing up on the front, dealing as much damage as possible as soon as possible. All right, it's going. It's it's going actually pretty decently. We're surviving their RD. I got my planes. All oh, my planes showed up a little too late to do what I wanted to do with them, but... They're here. I gotta try to keep an eye on them for what's going on right now. Already one of them is like fucked up. That was super fast. So just tell that one to go back. Uh, I have to give kind of generalized orders or just go really, really slowly right now. But we took this and my idea is I'm trying to like push through and cut off their path to this barracks. Because this is where a lot of them are going. Well, I have the opportunity well, they're shooting down here, but you see they're already starting to, like, trickle out. So, gotta, I guess, try to do this in a little bit of a rush. And keep an eye on these fighters while I do it. These multi-role fighters. Just have them shooting at whatever the hell they want right now. It's fine enough by me. You can see they're getting hurt. But they're doing stuff. How are they on supply? I don't really have their initiative set very high. Oh, plenty of fuel. And they're already kind of set to go back, I assume, once they're out of ammo. Oh, one's getting real hurt now. We're going to want to take that one and send it back. Here you go. Go over there. I haven't sent any of the other ones I repaired, like, back to the front, but that's that's fine. The sneaky Russians tried encircling me, so I went back and I just destroyed some arty that they were trying to encircle with. This little Goomba Stomp stack that I have is not particularly the most effective when dealing with arty. I'm just trying to get as much firepower down, knowing that losses won't really affect me. Oh, they know to retreat on this initiative. Okay, that's good. I need to micro them as much as I thought I did. I'm trying to get as much firepower headed over here as possible, but right now I think we're going to be running into, yep, yeah, ammo problems. So, hmm, not really sure if I can actually do this all in one go. I've definitely pushed the front, but yeah, all in one go is probably not going to work. So I think it's time to, like, pull off at this point and back off. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough ammo to do it all. If we just sit here, we're just going to be taking shots for no reason. Here, like these two, you can move all the way back. That's fine. So I got a lot of guys on the front here that do have a decent amount of ammo. I haven't repaired my troops at all. <laughs> I just 10 times my manpower casualties with this push. That's okay. The good news is we've encircled the group on the road who's now just getting completely finished off by the poles. We have a massive stack over here as well absolutely getting obliterated. We've kind of cut into the roads, but we can't utilize the road to actually stop them from moving. We're pushed up to St. Petersburg, though, and the damage we're doing to the Russians is brutal. Oh my god, I lost my first unit! It was an arty piece. Where? Here? Oh, well, that's to be expected. Yeah. <laughs> These poles are going even further, and they've pushed onto the road leading to Moscow, and they're intercepting a lot of the injured artillery. 
that's all just like going that way. Oh, hello, are you trying to push up here? I've left some tanks ahead to just kind of eat some arty shots. Uh, where are you going? You turn me. Drive that T-72 away, okay? Hey, thank you. Oh man, lots of arty, lots of arty. I'm trying to like hold this town long enough to get some, what's it called? Garrisons on top of it. Cause once garrisons are on top of it, like they just stay hidden too. Unless something prompts them to come out. And that's kind of like the situation I want. If you need to be prompted to come out, they're not going to do anything. Now there's poles on my territory. <laughs> also, we don't want to stack the defenders if we're dealing with Artie. Uh, for minimal casualties possible. This is probably the most tactical you'll ever see me play. Is when I'm playing single player. Because I can play not on fastest. The Estonians are... Oh my god. Finnish fighters. Where are they going? I guess they're in relations with Ukraine as well. I saw one of them go through this territory, but only for a moment. Maybe they're starting to get active. The Estonians have cut off the Polish advance and kind of circled around this military base right here. So the Estonians are doing some good work. The stats are looking pretty good. I killed about 50. Two of these kills were garrisons from like Ukraine earlier in the game. 51 in my push coming out here. A whole 51. I only lost one arty piece, so I'm pretty happy about that. They still have so much arty and so much ammo, though. It's going to take a more concise push to pull this off. It's going to have to be a little bit spread out or utilizing more air, which I don't have at the moment. I've lost my second unit. It's a garrison. At this town, I lost a garrison and an arty piece. Oh no, my KDR. I've killed some more units too. Well, I sent the battle group home, literally all the way home, because we haven't taken this barracks and a lot of them needed repairs. This ended up falling. There was just way too much arty here to hold it. But we kept everything else. And in fact, a Latvian has just randomly pushed our territory out here. The Poles, meanwhile, despite this stack just sitting here, have been very proactive in pushing around the road to Moscow and are fully engaged, skirmishing the living hell out of supporting Russian forces in the region. And they're doing a pretty damn good job at it. This is where I see the most progress at any one moment. Otherwise, Ukrainians are just holding out in other forces, assisting or kind of like coming into my territory, skirmishing with Russians, etc., etc. I'm sure we'll see more big AI movements here, but we are out of time for this episode. So I'm going to go get these units healed. I'm going to bring them back and I'm adding more in for the next wave. And we're going to see what we can do about beating up Russia. For now though, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.